I, I want to uh, talk about your April Fool's prank because it, oh, yes. it made me laugh. But I'm assuming someone else probably got confused because yeah. this is on your Instagram. Well, I did a film called Love Rosie years ago, and I'm heavily pregnant in it. And so I thought April Fool's, it's a great photo to use. Yeah, it um, just says, big news. Big news. Um, yeah. So, so I didn't think anyone was going to buy it, but my little brother, um, Matthew, called me and was like, are you pregnant? And I said, well, no. Wouldn't I have told you not on social media? Yeah. He's like, that's so dumb, I hate you. And he hung up. <laughs> I was like, was I love you too. Uh, let's talk about uh, Les Miserables. Yes. You're playing uh, Fantine. Yes. I mean, big role. It was very exciting. I never, in my wildest dreams, thought I'd get to play. This is her. exciting. Yeah. But this is not a musical. It's not a musical. No, it's actually, it goes back to Victor, Victor Hugo's novel. Um, and obviously the written word and, and that wasn't musical so it goes back to the original and it's a six-parter and it's just really interesting for me because as Fontaine sometimes most of her storyline gets told through song lyrics you know she explains in a song that she fell in love and had a child and was left by a guy whereas we get to show it in an episode oh interesting yeah you get to see the ghosting of that period Dude, happen. your transformation is uh the transformation is unbelievable. Thank because you. Obviously, uh, I mean, you're, you're just, I know you as you. I almost can't even look at this because uh, I just know you. And then this is you as Fontaine. And Death. wow. Yeah. You really the, went The for hair it. and makeup department were absolute Holy geniuses. Moly. I sent this picture um, to my mom because I was so excited about the transformation, not even thinking how awful that is to send <laughs> yeah, She's like, don't ever send I me this ever again. I literally was like, you know, rough day at work. And yeah. she was like, you do never send your mother that kind of a picture. Like, <laughs> now your brother and your mom unfollow yeah, you on Instagram. Yeah, now they yeah. unfollow me on Instagram. They never know what I'm going to show. But it was, it was amazing. We, I, I, um, I had a bald cap underneath my wig so they could chop into the wig and then look like they were chopping into like my skull basically and then we put uh, I had two of my front teeth knocked out in the show so I had green screen because teeth she, she so she she sells her teeth and her hair to pay for her daughter who's sick um how did they and, get oh this is good so they just put like oh, black no, out this is so awful <laughs> they just put like some glue on your teeth is that what it is it's absolutely awful yes that is not in character yeah um that is after work one day uh i was really happy to get the wig off obviously yeah. um but yeah they put green screen teeth and then they blacked them out so they could easily blur them in post wow yeah, it was that, really fun. Is it hard to act like that? No, it's easier, I think. Well, for me, it's easier because I don't recognize myself and I can get into character. But then some of the other actors are staring at, like, spinach teeth when they're acting. And so, like, <laughs> Dominic West and I are filming my death scene. Not what? a spoiler. I mean, everyone knows Fontaine dies. <laughs> everyone knows. You can see her resurrect on Broadway or West End tomorrow night if you it's wanted to. It's a pretty old like, book. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah. Yeah. No spoilers um, on this one. Yeah. Um, but, I, you know, we were doing my death scene, and, um, which was day two of filming. Like, I worked my way backwards. They had me die day two. Why? Because we were shooting in winter, and they wanted it to be cold and dreary and depressing, which so, it was. So your second day of work, you died? I died, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was like, nice to meet you, and then my deathbed. But Goodbye, Dominic, yeah. <laughs> Dominic is standing behind the camera looking at me, and he just can't stop laughing because I have these green teeth. And I'm, <laughs> he's, like, not making it easy for me. You shot this in Brussels? Shot it in Brussels last year, yeah. Wow. Did you get to explore? Or? I did a lot of backpacking around Europe. I did some like train rides to cool places, but then I also weirdly did a bunch of escape rooms. I don't know why I went to Brussels and did escape rooms. Why, why, I, is it different it than American kind, escape rooms? Kind of, yeah, different themes, I guess. And some of them, I mean, no, no, they were all in English. I mean, I wouldn't have ever escaped yeah. otherwise. But um, it was fun. I love escape rooms. They're great. I only did it once, but Quest have apparently has done it like 30 times. They're, aren't they awesome? He's never, awesome. It's awesome, yeah. but he's never, he's never invited me once. Oh. Um, you know, I invite, that's funny, because I invited, um, well, David Oyelowo is in this, and he's amazing. Um, we all, Dominic and I kept inviting him out to hang out with us, and every time he said no, and I... I just took it as, I was, it was personal, I guess. I don't know, he didn't like me or something. I, Dominic and I just found out two days ago that he's a method actor and he just didn't want to hang out with us because he was in character. No! Because on the press tour, he's been so much fun. And Dominic he's and I great. are like, you are so much fun to hang out with. He's like, well, I'm not in character now. And it, we, it took us months to realize it wasn't uh, personal. You're like, dude, you're a jackass. Yeah, was, <laughs> he's like, no, I was playing I mean, a jackass. I mean, he throws me around in the show, but like, in real life, I mean, he's lovely no, and of course, funny. He's great, really funny. Oh, we yeah. love him. Oh, my God, that's hilarious I know, to find it, out. Was, it, was, it was a trip. Well, congrats on this.